quick video today is going to show you how to use the pen mask feature that is in the trend viewer primitive to control what trends are visible. So I currently have a little application running here where I'm currently filling up some tanks. See here's the values go up and down here that I've got four tanks going across the screen here and uh, each one fills with a different rate and so forth. And if I click on the trends button right here, you'll see it takes me to the trend viewer and you can see that I can see all of the different trends that are cranking along here on this particular screen. But what I really want to do is I really want to have where if I click on this particular tank, it takes me to the trend viewer and only shows me the red trend. Or if I click on this one, I want to show the green one. Or if I click on this one, the yellow, and this one would be the blue. So I want to show you how to use the pen mask feature to do such a thing. So first of all, let's go over to our Crimson program. And if I go over here to the uh, trend viewer, this primitive, of course, can be found over in the... Uh, there over here, make this a little wider so you can see it. can be found in the system primitives, and it's the trend viewer. This is the one we're using right here. So if I double click on this guy and bring up its properties, you can see right here there's a field here called pen mask, and by default it happens to be set up as show all. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to just go ahead and create a tag called pen mask, for instance. So I'll just type the word pen mask right here, and when I hit enter, Grimson, of course, is going to bark at me and say, hey, you've got a new tag here called pen mask. Do you want to declare it? I'm going to say yes. So now it's declared a new tag called pen mask, as you can see here. So I'll click the OK button there. And um, if I go back here to the main, you're going to see here's these images. Now, what I want to do is I want to, when I click on this particular guy here, I want to set the pen mask to only show me the first uh, trend. Let me go back here. Let me show you one more thing here. So the pens, if you go here to the trend viewer, click on the pens, uh, uh, pens uh, tab here, <clears throat> you can see that the trend viewer primitive will only show you the first 16 values that are being logged. You can have more than that, of course, in your data logger, but the trend viewer primitive will only show you the first 16. So what I'm going to do is I only want to see this first one when I click on that first tank. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to go ahead and go here to the main tag. These are widgets, by the way. So if you watch my widgets video, you'll see how that's done. But I want to make basically a big thing over this that when I click on it, will navigate me to that page, but I also want to set the bit the bit mask, or the pen mask, if you will. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here to the right-hand side, and I'm going to go all the way to the top and go into my core primitives, and I'm going to click on one of these rounded rectangles. I'm just going to use it as a, a thing, a button, that will navigate me. So I'll grab, let's say I grab this router, for instance. I'm just going to drag it out here like this, and I'm going to kind of superimpose it on top of this thing like so. Let's go right about there. Now, I don't want to see the red or anything. I just want to use this as a place marker to allow me to go to the other page. So I'm going to double-click on this thing to bring up its properties. And I'm going to turn off the color. I don't want it to have any fill. And I'm also going to turn off the background, the border. I don't want to see anything. Okay, So that's what I've done. I've put that on there. It's basically a transparent thing, if you will. I'll click OK. It's still sitting there. And you can always tell down here, guys, it tells you what you're looking at on the screen so here's what I'm currently looking at and what I'm going to do here with this little thing you can see the border around it I'm going to right click and I'm going to add an action to that thing okay so the action I want to do and now I have an action tab which wasn't there before if I hit the pull down here I'm going to say user defined now when I teach you have these options on pressed on auto repeat and released I prefer that uh, you always try to get your things to execute on released that way, it occurs when the operator lets his finger off the touch screen to go do the action. So on the on released, I'm going to go ahead and hit the pull down right here where it says general. And I'm going to do a complex function. i got two things I want to do. I have to set the pen mask to set the appropriate trend to show up. And then, of course, I need to go to the page called trends. So what I'll do here, watch this trick. I'm going to drag my pen mask out here like this. And I'm going to go ahead and say equals. And I'm going to do a 0B for binary. And then since I only have four values that we're currently looking at, I'm going to go 0001, semicolon. That's going to set bit 0 to 1. And then after that, I'm going to do a go to page. Oops. And the name of the page is trends. 
So I'll do that, and then I'll add a semicolon into that statement. So there's going to be the step for that one. I'm going to highlight this guy and do a copy. Say OK. I'll click OK again. I don't know if this will work, but I'll copy this guy. Paste it. And I'll do Control V again and again. So you can see they're not lined up, but I'll fix that here in a second. So this one, I'll place it like this. And I'll right-click on it, go to Properties. I'm going to edit this complex code. And on this one, I'm going to set the second bit to be on. So I see the second trend viewer. And then I'll go to this next one. I'll move this guy over a little bit so it lines up like the other guys. And I'll right-click and I'll go to Properties. And this one's going to be uh, bit number two. So it's going to be this one. I'll set the others as zeros. And then the last guy is this one right here. Let me move it over here so it's appropriately on that tank. And I'll go to Properties here. Hit Edit. And I'm going to set this one to 1, 0, 0, 0, like so. All right, click OK, click OK. And let's go ahead and download this and see if it works here. All right, so we'll go to my web browser here. And this little button takes me to the main screen. So here they are, they're working away. Uh, if I click uh, this button right here, look, it takes me to the trend viewer and only shows me the red tank, okay? If I hit the home button here, I've got this pre set up on an icon here, taking back to home. If I click on the green one, it takes me to the green tribe. And if I click on the yellow one, it takes me to the yellow one. And, of course, if I click on the blue one, it takes me to blue. Perfect. Works great. Now, I've got this working perfect here, but what if I wanted a button right here that says, show me all the stuff, show me all the trends. So what I'll do there to make that happen, let me go back to Crimson, and I'll click on the actual trends page. And I'm going to go over here to the right side and go to the, uh, I'll be in my core primitives, that's where I'm usually at, and I'm going to use one of these bevel buttons. So fifth row down from the top over on the left column is a bevel button. Click on this guy one time, you get all these pre-built ones. I'm going to grab maybe this blue one, and I'll drag it out here like this. I know it's real small, but I'll make it bigger. And what I want is when I click on this button here, I want it to show me all the trends. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click and go to Properties. And I'll just change the text right now. I might say Show, oops, show all trends, like that. I'm going to change the font from black to white so I get a better contrast over here. Um, if you ever attend my class, you know that I like, with these buttons, I always like to give them a, a direction down and right. That way it gives a little 3D feedback for the operator. And now if I go to the Action tab, the cool thing here is on the Action tab, right here where it says No Action, I'm going to hit the pull down, and I'm just going to choose User Define. And on the On Released, I'll hit the Edit button here. I'm going to drag the pen mask out here like this, and I'm going to make it equal to 0B for binary, 1111. I only have four trends, so I'm going to turn them all on right there. Say OK. Click OK again. And let me make this font a little bigger. Like that. All right, let me go ahead and download this, and let's see what happens here. So I'll click here to the Home button. And you'll see it here. Once again, if I click on this guy, I see just the blue. If I click on maybe the yellow one, I see just yellow. But if I click on this button here, it shows me all the trends now. See that? Pretty cool because it sets the bit, the pen mask, to uh, 1111, which is 16 in decimal or binaries, 1111, because there's only four trend viewers. So that's how you can use the pen mask to uh, turn on and off what particular view you might be looking at. So that's a pretty cool feature. Of course, if I click it from the main page here, it takes me in. Let's try something. If I go here. That looks good. If I go back here, if I do this button, what does it do? Ah, we have one fix there. You notice what happens there? When I came back in through this button here, it's only showing me what, what last thing I was looking at. So what I should do, I need to fix this guy as well. So I'm going to go over here to the main button here. Click on this button here, go Properties. Prior to this, I was using the Go To Page feature here. But this time, I'm going to go ahead and use the User Defined. And I'll do this complex, and I'll drag this pen mask out here, and I will say equals zero, B is in binary, one, two, like that, enter, and then I'll say go to page, trends, not trans, trends, semicolon, enter. And then I might say up here, 
set pen mask to uh, and go to trends page like that that way it kind of says that down here like you see I'll click OK go ahead and download this to my screen and if I go back to the browser so here's where we were at a second ago we were just clicking on this it would do this click on that one it takes that but then the thing was when I hit here it takes me and shows me everything so that's just a quick way folks on how you can use the pen mask feature to uh, set what particular trend view line you want to look at based on the graphic anyway I uh, hope that uh, answers some questions for some of you guys uh, let me know if you have any questions and thanks a lot for using redline HP